Okay, today I'm talking about Kevin Smith's newest movie, Jay and Silent Bob Reboot. I like Kevin Smith's movies. His early films definitely meant a lot to me, especially like Clerks and Mallrats. Mallrats is probably my favorite Kevin Smith movie. And I don't think he's ever really made a movie that I outright haven't liked. I haven't seen Yoga Hosers yet, and I haven't seen Jersey Girl yet, which I've heard are the two that people typically don't like all that much. Uh, Cop Out, I'm not crazy about. I really liked Tusk and Red State. Um, I thought, especially Red State, I thought was a, a really interesting idea. Uh, Tusk is a wild idea, but I like that movie a lot just because of how uh, bizarre it is. So Jay and Silent Bob, a reboot, I think is a bit of a return to form for him. I haven't seen Yoga Hosers yet, like I said. I don't really know. Maybe that is very similar to his earlier stoner films, um, whereas Red State and Tusk are more so horror films or really kind of gritty films. They're very out of character for Kevin Smith. Uh, Jay and Silent Bob a reboot is more akin to the first batch of movies he ever made with Clark's Mall Rats. Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back, especially, and so on. I thought the movie was fine. Uh, I think it's in the, as, as far as my mind goes, in the same category as a uh, Clark's 2, Zach and Miri make a porno cop out kind of direction, like the, in terms of quality and my own weird idea of what's quality and what isn't um i think it's it, it leans on that side where i didn't watch it and go like wow that was that was great that was a lot of fun i kind of watched it and I'm like yeah this is another this is a kevin smith movie um and i like kevin smith i like kevin smith a lot uh, i i've been i enjoy listening to a lot of his interviews and i like the way that he tells stories i appreciate how passionate he is about everything but you know not everyone's going to be a winner and i definitely don't think that this one really hit it out of the park for me I definitely wasn't bored, and I definitely laughed a lot during it, but I don't know, there wasn't really anything that really, that really made me, uh, there's nothing really memorable about it, I, I guess. Like, it kind of, I, I definitely prefer Jane Silent Bob Strike Back over, over this film. It was really cool to see Val Kilmer and Chris Jericho in this movie. The jokes were Kevin Smith is poking fun at himself, I enjoyed, um, his daughter's in the movie, which he, he's been doing that a lot lately, Yoga Hosers, his daughter was featured very heavily, and uh, she's all right. Her performance in this movie didn't really grab me. Uh, she was in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood very briefly. Now that I've seen her in two films, and of course she's in Yoga Hosers, I'll have to watch that and get another impression of what she's capable of. But in this movie, she definitely seemed to fit this kind of comedy film. Uh, and I'd be curious to see, just just out of pure curiosity's sake, because she's Kevin Smith's daughter, what she could do in another project. Uh, Muse is hilarious. Um, I, I, I'm still, I still enjoy their style of humor. Some of the jokes land better than others. Uh, there were some jokes that me and my roommates were laughing pretty hysterically at, and other jokes that just fell completely flat. And I've heard Kevin Smith say before that he's making movies for people, for the one guy in the audience who gets the joke. And sometimes you're not going to be that person and sometimes you are. Um, I really appreciate that about his movies, that he, he knows who he's making his movies for and hopefully that it resonates with them. And most of the time his movies do resonate with me. This one, just barely. I wish I had more to say about it, but it's one of those movies that hit me kind of neutrally. I don't really have any praise to sing for it. I don't really have anything to really, um, I don't know, say ne overtly negatively about it. So yeah, just a run-of-the-mill movie for me. Um, I swear, like, the heat's really getting to me. I feel like my thoughts are... I, I don't script these. I maybe write a point or two, but my brain feels really scrambled. I feel really hot, so I'm kind of listening to myself talk, and I feel like this review is not going to turn out as, as well as I want it to. Maybe it does. Uh, thanks for watching either way. I'm sorry if I sound like I'm just spewing pure verbal diarrhea. Uh, yeah, uh, so um, Jane Silent Bob Reboot gets a... Give it a six, six and a half. Uh, six and a half joints out of ten. Four, four, four joints out of twenty.